Isaiah 55, verse 3, 8, and 9. Come to me with your ears wide open. Listen, and you will find life. I will make an everlasting covenant with you. I will give you all the unfailing love I promised David. My thoughts are nothing like your thoughts, says the Lord, and my ways are far beyond anything you could imagine. For just as the heavens are higher than the earth, so my ways are higher than your ways, and my thoughts higher than your thoughts. And so I will incline my heart to your word. For since the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and wisdom is knowledge applied, then I will come daily to you, Lord, with a mind hungry to be fed with your word. My eyes will become the mouth with which I eat, as I read all that is written, and I will tether my ears to my feet, that what I hear you speak I may apply to my daily walk. And then your word will be a lamp to my feet, guiding each step I take, and a light to my path, showing me the way ahead, just as it was for David, whom a promise of unfailing love you gave and an everlasting covenant you made with him and all who submit to the way, the truth, and the life that is Jesus Christ. Hey church, welcome to our second devotional as we make our journey to the cross. You would have remembered the first test from Monday, and that is the test of identity. The second test that we are faced with, that Jesus was faced with, was the test of submission. Let's have a look at what the scripture says. Matthew chapter 4 verse 5 to 7. Then the devil took him to the holy city in Jerusalem, to the highest point of the temple, and said, If you are the Son of God, then jump off. For the scriptures say, He will order his angels to protect you, and they will hold you up with their hands so that you won't even hurt your foot on a stone. But Jesus responded, The scriptures also say you must not test the Lord your God. This is such an interesting test because it requires Jesus to act in a manner that is contrary to God's intended will for him. So just to understand that if Jesus had to jump off that portion of the temple, he would have gained instant popularity. Immediately everyone would have known who he was. They would have known that he was the son of God. He would have proven himself and his identity. But that's not what God had in mind for him. Because God knew that his pathway to glory was through the lens of the cross. See, Jesus understood that his pathway to the cross was one of submission and surrender to the will of the Father. And so here's the challenge for you and I. Are we fully submitted to the process that God has for us? Or do we seek avenues to bypass God's will and God's process because we're scared of sacrificing and we're scared to submit to his will. See, here's one thing I know about us as human beings is that we are hardwired to choose the path of least resistance, meaning that we normally choose what comes easiest and what is most convenient. And so the test of submission is the laying down of our will, choosing the path that Jesus has set out for us, no matter how obscure, no matter how confusing or how difficult. This is something for you and I to ponder on and be challenged by as we lay down our lives before Jesus. This is our journey to the cross.